what's up here in Fredericksburg and I'm at the home of the mother of the father of the country Mary Ball Washington and actually came out here a couple months ago made a video I lost some of the footage so I figured I'd just come out uh, back out here start fresh and yeah so Mary she's pretty much Fredericksburg's most popular resident so you've got Mary Washington Hospital Mary Washington College and yeah some uh, pretty cool houses down here definitely and the white ones marries and you can pretty much uh this place pretty much uh, looked at as was uh 200 years ago just put in some dirt roads take away the cars and yeah it's pretty much the same so and i'll also let you know i'm using a uh, new gimbal so i apologize if uh, maybe some of the footage doesn't come out very good but this thing's supposed to uh, stabilize my picture so yeah, we'll see how that works out. All right, and we're at the corner of Charles and Lewis Street. Charles named after King Charles, Lewis after Frederick Lewis. That's who Fredericksburg is named after. And also let you know, tickets for this place are $7. And they've got this thing called a Heritage Pass. Uh, you, you get to, it's $18 for three sites. Mary's House, Hugh Mercer's Apothecary. In the Rising Sun Tavern, which is the home of Charles Washington, uh, George's brother. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and check this place out. All right, just took the house tour and no filming inside. So I'm just gonna take a walk around the gardens and I'll tell you a little bit about Mary while I have everything fresh in my head. And this was the original portion of the house, this in the wing to the right, uh, that was her bedroom. And these two wings uh, to the left were built by her granddaughter, Betty. Uh, she moved in after Mary passed away. And Betty was the daughter of Betty, Mary's daughter, who lived at Kenmore, just about three blocks over. And let's see, she lived about, she lived five places throughout her life. Born out in Lancaster County, way out in the Northern Neck. And she was born to Joseph Ball, a prominent Englishman and she lived there until adulthood until she married augustine augustine washington and after that they moved out to westmoreland county uh, along the potomac a uh, place called pope's creek and that, that's where george was born so they lived there about three years then they moved a little further up the potomac uh, to a place called little hunting creek which is now mount vernon lived there three years then moved down to fairy farms and while she was at Ferry Farms, Augustine passed away. He passed away when uh, George was about left her widowed. And uh, yeah, she had to uh, run a plantation, raise five kids. She actually had six kids. One passed away in infancy. Uh, yeah, raised five kids on, on her own. And just a side note, this sundial uh, is a replacement. The original was stolen during the Civil War. So... Yeah, lived uh, out in uh, farmhouse, uh, sorry, Ferry Farms. And uh, as she got a little bit older, she got influenza, became sickly. And George wanted to move her uh, down here into Fredericksburg so she be, could, could be closer to her family. Like I say, her daughter lived over there at Kenmore. Her son Charles lived about two blocks down, a little to the left at the Rising Sun, well, what is now the Rising Sun Tavern and yeah she was a really independent uh strong-willed stubborn lady she didn't want to move but in the winter of 71 uh, she had a uh, serious uh, medical issue and nobody could get to her because the rappahannock was frozen over so after that she decided yeah it was best that she uh, go ahead and move here into town so she lived here for 17 years until she passed away 1789 and she actually she died of breast cancer and they're not sure if actually it was the breast cancer or the cure that got her i don't know how they tested but uh she had they say she had arsenic and mercury in her system so oh and a side note hugh mercer uh was her doctor for the first uh, couple of years she lived here he died of course in the uh, revolutionary war so while she lived here like i say this was later in life she just spent a lot of time in her garden um, when anybody uh, prominent would come into Fredericksburg, they would stop and visit, whether it was Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, uh, Marquise Lafayette, and George is documented to have visited it at least six times. 
and there's a mannequin in the window up there yeah and he uh, visited most notably uh, for the last time 1789 on his way he stopped by to get her blessing he was on his way to New York to be inaugurated as president and it was about six months before she had passed away and she was pretty much on her deathbed so yeah it was the last time he saw her so in yeah kind of a, a typical kitchen uh, from what you'd see back then some candle makers back there all your usual ovens and i believe she said her uh this house was built uh, by her granddaughter when she moved in so anyway all right so that's it for her house and uh there's actually a obelisk uh a memorial here in town uh it's where she's buried and uh it's also where these uh these meditation rocks are it's where she would go to pray and uh it's a couple blocks away so i'm, I'm gonna stop by so all right made it and I'm um, kind of on Fredericksburg's Monument Avenue down there yeah I'm back to using my cell phone that gimbal was uh, getting on my nerves uh, statue uh, uh, of Hugh Mercer a little fur further down there's a memorial dedicated to George Rogers Clark general during the Revolutionary War and right over there statue dedicated to religious freedom commissioned by Thomas Jefferson and yeah Mary Washington's memorial. Hmm. Yeah, behind it's the Meditation Rock and the Gordon Family Cemetery. And I can tell you, work on this thing began in 1830. It sat around forever, and it wasn't completed until 1894. Uh, a group of women got together and finished it off. And President Grover Cleveland was here during the dedication. Yeah, and Mary's buried somewhere on the property. I'm not sure where. She's not buried back here. This is the Gordon Family Cemetery. And I'm wondering if they're related to Basil Gordon. He was supposedly America's first millionaire and he pretty much put Falmouth on the map, a little town right across the river there, but it's not saying. So also uh, on Mother's Day, 1954, Dwight Eisenhower laid a uh, wreath there at the bottom. So, and over here is the caretaker's cottage. They built this in 1895, a, a year after it was dedicated. And uh, yeah, a lady named Frances Gorick lived in there and she's uh, related to, she's part of the uh, Gorick family, pretty big family here in Fredericksburg. If anybody's familiar with Gorick's uh, pharmacy. Yeah, it's a store downtown that's been in business for about 150 years. So. Yeah, it's more on this. This is John T. Gorick. And over here behind the cemetery are the meditation rocks. It's where Mary would come out and pray. Here you go. 
and over here a tree that was planted in her honor. Nineteen thirty seven, this giant thing. So that's all I've got from Mary Washington. So see ya.